Hi, welcome back to Six Pack Classrooms Educational Videos. And today we're gonna to be talking about the deltoid, which is the shoulder muscle. It is responsible for abduction of the shoulder joint. That is taking the humerus bone, the upper bone from your elbow to your shoulder, away from the body. Now, when we do a fly, we tend to do the bottom half, which is having the elbow close to the body and then moving it away until the humerus bone becomes parallel with the ground. However, when doing a shoulder press with a barbell or a dumbbell, let's focus on a barbell shoulder press for today, uh, it starts and begins with the humerus bone parallel with the ground and then goes towards the sky and it goes upward from there. So in retrospect, a fly does the bottom half uh, from, the, from the bottom down to being parallel with the ground and then the shoulder press does the work from being parallel with the ground upwards. One's got to be right, one's got to be wrong. They can't both be right. You can't do two different ranges of motion for the same muscle group. So when we discover the reasons, uh, we'll start to discover why we have to do them in a certain way. So first, let's have a chat about the actual shoulder joint itself. It's a ball and socket joint. Now, as it starts to come up, once your arm gets parallel with the ground, it can't go any further than that without having a slight dislocation. So by doing a fly and doing the bottom half of the fly, uh, that is doing it correctly. You know, we don't do a fly all the way up to the ceiling. We just do it until our forearm and our humerus bone is parallel with the ground. So that's correct. Now, everybody does the barbell shoulder press from the halfway line at 90 degrees upwards, thinking we're protecting the shoulder joint, where actually you are not. By adding weight vertically on the actual shoulder joint, you are adding a massive amount of pressure on the rotator cuff and dislocation. So what we need to do is do the range of motion of the barbell shoulder press at the same range of motion as you do a fly, which means the barbell needs to go down deep onto your chest. And once it touches your chest, it goes up halfway. So the bar should just go chest to above your head. Um, do not push it all the way through to the ceiling. Now, by doing it all the way to the very top, you are creating a very functional movement, uh, but you are not activating your deltoid to its maximum potential. What happens is as you get halfway, the point in between your neck and your shoulder joint starts to come together. And as you come back down, it separates. You can see my fingers down here, it's far apart. And as I get to the top, it comes together. That's because as you've reached the end of range of motion of your humerus joints um, coming to parallel, anything beyond that, it needs help because you're going through a dislocation. So what happens is your trapezius muscle on the top pulls your shoulder board joint inward and helping the entire joint rotate for you, which means you can put a massive amount of pressure on your neck, uh, that of which you don't want to be doing. So, flies, bottom half, shoulder press, bottom half, uh, and you're actually gonna be keeping your shoulder joint safe. Talk to you soon, bye.